My name is R.S. Mengert, and I'm going to read now from my new chapbook, Carnival of Theodicy, available now from Alien Buddha Press. Taking Shape Like every other night, I gazed into the crevice of my room that catches no reflection from the porch light or the moon outside. The corner behind the chair where I drape my soiled lab coat. The corner where I see no outline in the dark. But this time, as I stared until the black deepened, I saw it spread out to engulf the room and even swallow up the orange glow of time from the alarm clock on my nightstand until the shapeless black began to shape itself. At first, I only saw a skull, that inner core of every face. But then, a more disturbing outline formed, a memory so distant I would have thought it lost. My father's face, forever gray and lightless, forever sharp, Germanic razor blade of chin and forehead, bespectacled like mine and creased with rage, his figure forming, grainy, hunched and crooked, lumbering in a tattered lab coat smeared with blood. I wanted to address him, say, I never did know what you were. I never saw you anywhere except like this. And I have wondered if my mother made you up to warn me. And I have feared that I, like you, took shape from shadows on a sleepless night. But the vision slipped back into the dark, just as my father did before I was old enough to speak or to imagine him at all. And the clock beside me glowed, like the nightlight my mother plugged into my wall when I was five, an orange bulb behind her luminescent crucifix that lit my room enough to give more definition to the monsters I saw growing from the dark, but not enough to make them disappear. No space for me. When I was a boy, I dreamt of being an astronaut I grew up freakishly large and half-blind. No space for me. No floating embryonic in the zero-g void, bathed in the silver effervescence of the starlight. I must walk the earth of stone and mud as I do tonight, bound by gravity and fear. On nights like this, I should just stay inside and drink or read Aquinas by the yellow flicker of electric light, the hum of a cheap space heater. He said evil is nothing more than the absence of good, just as cold results from lack of heat, darkness from the lack of light, and that all of humankind is holy in its nature. In the frigid early dark, the cobalt sky is fear. The pockmarked street beneath my stairs is black and solid, swallowing the light the day has left behind. I will step down to walk on it and take what darkness I can. Thank you.